A real alchemy kit. All these flasks contain powders. What on earth does he do with them all?
But he couldn't stop me from joining the Templars. I have to try to cleanse myself of their sin of the flesh. Because of him and my mother, my soul may already be condemned to hell. Only the balm of the Templars' faith can rid it of the mortal sin engraved upon it. On October 9th, Saint-Denis Day, I finally discovered the traces of the head. Blessed by Saint-Denis, he who smiles down on me in all his beatitude to help me leave my soul. Yes, Saint-Denis is smiling on me. The head purifies me. As God is my witness, I, Simon Le Bel, in this year of our Lord, 1305, shall enter the body of Pierre Le Bel de Clemency tomorrow, June 24th, and shall retrieve what is mine by divine right. In this new body, purified of my soul, and of my parents' carnal sin. Death will no longer hold any mystery for me. The head of Baphomet has finally revealed all of its secrets. Victory! I would shout this divine miracle from the rooftops if I did not fear the unbelievers and their stake. I am in a new, younger, stronger body, and it is God's will. How else can I explain Adeline's appearance at my bedside? Blessed and cursed, God gave me a new body, but Adeline, my angel, who took care of this new body, is forbidden to me. It would seem she is the daughter of that idiot, Pierre. That's to say, my own daughter at present. I am weary of this existence. What is the point of living for centuries if I can never again glimpse the smile of my beloved Adeline? Ah, oh, Adeline, you who are forbidden to me, will I ever see your sweet face again? I would gladly exchange these solitary centuries to see your face, your eyes, once more. She has returned. She is once more of this world, and so close to me. She visited Kafner today. It really was her. That excellent doctor of the mind confirmed it. It is her, and this time she will be mine for the rest of my life. Well, Miss Blake, it would seem you did not tell me everything.
Right. That's all I needed. Blake's been abducted, and the kidnapper takes himself for a deal there. And naturally, he wants the head in exchange. As if I knew where it was. McPherson. Something awful's happened. Yulu. Yulu is dead. He's been murdered. Yulu dead. And the soul of the Alembic gone with him. We've all lost a great friend, Berenice. Keep your chin up, baby. Don't let them get you down. There's still the Alembic. Yulu started from nothing. He worked as a construction worker on the Metro before becoming a very important patron of the arts. You know, a big shot. It's awful. Yulu was not supposed to die. He could not die. He was the last person to see the Whites alive. The police. Did the police tell you how it happened? I don't know how to describe it. It is so sordid. His head, Mac, his head was cut off. His body was hanging on the front of the car. And his head was sitting on the hood like a figurehead. Worst of all, in his mouth. The police found a coin in his mouth. God, Berenice. Why him? Why Hulo? When did this happen? And you, Bebe, are you okay? The cops discovered his body at sunrise, but he may have been dead for a couple of days. I have no idea. No idea. Berenice, Hulo is dead. We have to be careful, too. Was it the police who told you? They have a suspect. They're already holding Halloween. The pigs? They're all the same. The investigation is taking its course, miss. Like hell! Everything I know I got from my contacts. Yes, it's true. A great patron to the artists, and a sponsor to you, to me, to the others. He took me under his wing as soon as I got to Paris. A generous man, even if he never wanted to exhibit me. Hulot always had a solution for everything. Like he said, every man has at least one quality. There were those he exhibited, and then there were the others. A real little hive of activity behind Hulot. Painters, sculptors, writers, intellectuals. In any case, Mac, nobody in Paris knows anything about art, but they all want a picture on their walls and they're willing to pay a small fortune. Berenice, we have to get to the bottom of this before everyone else dies. Do you know who is heading the inquiry? Inspector Lebrun, always spotless, the perfect bourgeois. They're putting on an act in an attempt to hoodwink us. In fact, Mac, they haven't got anything to go on. Hulot, you, me, Elouin, for them we're all nobodies. It's up to us to unravel this. I feel as bad as you do, Berenice. Anyone who comes to the Alembic will be grieving. The place will be a shrine to him. Everyone who comes in will be reminded of Albert Hulot. So many stories. How much Hulu loved his entourage. Everybody had a chance. 
The alambic was his masterpiece. Take this fresco, for example. You know how many artists contributed? Hulot would ask them to paint a bit, sometimes just a brush stroke. Over the years, it became his treasure. It's true. That fresco is rather special. Did he tell you what it is meant to represent? He used to sit and stare at the fresco at night. Honestly, Mac, he kept the secrets of his soul. But Berenice, doing those little favors could have sometimes made crooks out of us. Everyone knew Albert was a fence. Hulot saw himself as the Robin Hood of the art world. He got money out of the rich for the art of the poor. He may have been a fence, but he had ideas. Berenice, relationships like that only bring trouble, either with fences or with the police. Of course, Mac. I worked for Lou. We all have to live, you know. And sculpture doesn't exactly pay a girl's rent. You say you've copied works of art for Hulot? Has he commissioned any work recently? Strangely enough, yes. The day you came to the Alambic, the first time, I gave him a copy of a grotesque bust. My god. Pernice, the bust. The bust you sculpted for Hulot. Did it look like what you see in the sketch? It is exactly the same. Hulot asked me to make a copy. I gave it to him the night you came. Mac, I'm scared. What's going on? It's awful. I have to find this head before there are any more deaths. Even your life is at risk, Berenice. The killer is after this head. Don't you see, baby? I have to find out how Hulo got his hands on this accursed object. I have no idea who gave the head to Hulo. I made a copy, that's all. I'm not sure I've grasped the magnitude of this business. But one thing's for sure. You are not safe, Berenice. Be careful. I will do everything in my power to put a stop to these crimes. Everything. Find the killer for me, Mac. I will manage on my own. Mac. I don't know what to think anymore, Mac. I'm not sure I've grasped the magnitude of this business. But one thing's for sure. You are not safe, Berenice. Be careful. I will do everything in my power to put a stop to these crimes. Everything. Find the killer for me, Mac. I will manage on my own. secret you had hidden right under our noses all the time.
I don't know what to think anymore, Mac. I'm not sure I've grasped the magnitude of this business. But one thing's for sure. You are not safe, Berenice. Be careful. I will do everything in my power to put a stop to these crimes. Everything. Find the killer for me, Mac. I will manage on my own. I don't know what to think anymore, Mac. Berenice, there it is. You recognize your own handiwork? The heads of Baphomet, exact copies. Not even my expert eye can distinguish between the original and the fake. Mac, what you see here 
is my life's work. It is really perfect. It is good work. I'm not sure I've grasped the magnitude of this business, but one thing's for sure. You are not safe, Berenice. Be careful. I'll do everything in my power to put a stop to these crimes. Everything. Find the killer for me, Mac. I will manage on my own. Ah, Mr. McPherson, I was just thinking about you. Good to see you again. Have you brought me uh, any more culprits? You've got very little on Helloway, Inspector. Unless you have further evidence, your culprit will soon be a free man, cleared of all suspicion. I have some solid witnesses, and moreover, a very accurate witness sketch. Thank you. We've been barking up the wrong tree from the start, Inspector. The Whites never were the Whites. The Whites were not the Whites? McPherson, what are you talking about? The Whites do not exist. I have their passports here. They are American citizens. They did not arrive in Paris a few days ago. They got here over a month ago. You want to know what name they used? Johnson, Inspector. All right. Let's suppose they were using pseudonyms. Could you tell me why? Ruby and Regis are not the real names of the Orfe victims. I... I have in my possession a ring that clearly indicates the woman's name was Faye. Well, that does not prove anything, McPherson. What about all the sweet dog, huh? Faye uh, and Ferry? Of course! Why complicate things to my Ferry with love? A letter. A letter signed Sophia Blake confirms that they were hired to commit a robbery. The letter is addressed to Faye and Jerome Johnson, Inspector. Thieves? What did they steal then, McPherson? We did not find anything in their room, and moreover, no one has brought up charges. Explain that. They robbed Grégoire d'Alpin. The plan was orchestrated by the same woman who hired me, Sophia Blake. This is a major con trick, Inspector. De Alpin? Grégoire de Alpin? The banker? McPherson, I assure you that a man as important as Grégoire de Alpin would have called on the police to solve this case. He has the means, believe me. It's strange, but it's true. Doubtless Dalpin preferred to sort this business out in the greatest secrecy. Just ask Halloween. He's the one who investigated it. I would have to check with uh, Monsieur Dalpin. I can't tell you more, McPherson. If you have any doubts about Dalpin's involvement, I have something that will convince you, Inspector. A glass vial, taken from his home, identical to the one found broken in the White's room. McPherson! Grégoire de Alpin is surely not the only man in the world to own such a vial. It proves nothing. Stop protecting Dalpin. He's the only man in Paris who can obtain these vials. The only one capable of putting this gas inside them. The purple gas he uses to put his victims to sleep. Leave the vial with me. I will have it examined. Here you are. Thank you, McPherson. Inspector Lebrun, what I have shown you is irrefutable proof of Halloween's innocence. I found the knife used to cut off the victim's heads. The murder weapon must be a knife of extreme precision, medical precision, with an incredibly sharp blade. Show me what you have, McPherson. This is the murder weapon, just as I found it at Grégoire d'Alpin's home. Thank you, McPherson. D'Alpin. 
Dale Penny is dead. He's been dead for over a week. What are you talking about? If anything happens to Mr. Dalpin, I assure you heads will roll. Dalpin looks to have died peacefully of old age. Nothing like the other murders. I have a photo here. See for yourself. Even if Mr. Dalpin had died of natural causes, it would not prove Alloin's innocence, McPherson. Quite the contrary. If Dalpin has been dead for over a week, he couldn't have hired Alouin to investigate. Do you not see, Inspector? Somebody else hired Alouin. And I suppose you are going to tell me who this uh, mysterious person is, Mr. McPherson. One gold, one brass. One at the Alpes, the other at Kaufner's. Two ancient coins. These prove that both men were involved in the murders. Everyone has the right to collect ancient coins. Anyway, what has Dr. Kaufner to do with all this? That is too much. Will you never face up to the facts? You know as well as I do that coins like these were found on all the victims. How do you know about the coins? A couple of anonymous sources are enough to keep me abreast. Beauvais will get an earful about this. Leave the coins with me. They are evidence. With this, you can start investigating the true motives behind the murders. Thank you, McPherson. Your charge of murder against Halloween just doesn't hold water, Inspector Lebrun. Another man is dead, Hulot. Albert Hulot was killed in the same circumstances as the Whites and Malay. In other words, the accomplice is still out there. But Inspector, Elouin and Hulot never met. He had no motive for killing him. Elouin had never met the Whites, but he killed them nonetheless. Albert Hulot was probably another embarrassing witness. You heard his story. Elouin did not kill the Whites. He didn't even know them. Like you, Elouin is a mercenary, Mr. McPherson. Ready to do anything for a little money. I hope these clues will enable us to prove that Elouin is innocent. I will speak with Elouin, and we shall see. If I understand correctly, the Whites were not the Whites, but the Eatons, who are in fact the Johnsons. A couple of uh, professional con artists hired to retrieve a relic at the Alpines by Sophia Blake. Also your employer, Mr. McPherson. Yet according to this note, Sophia Blake is currently being held hostage by Mr. De Alpin. <laughs> Would it be the same De Alpin we see dead in these photos? Do you understand anything? It's just that... That is to say that you and me are going to have a little chat to set this story straight from the beginning. Lebrun, aren't you tired of making people believe this story? The evidence is there, on the table. Sir, I advise you to go back to your paintbrushes and leave the authorities to do their job. Now, if you will excuse us... May I retrieve my documents? Consider these documents as facts, Mr. McPherson. And without facts, there is no proof. Yes, and there's the proof of my innocence, Lebrun. We shall see about that, Elwin. We shall see. Mr. McPherson, goodbye. Poor Elwin. I did what I could for him. 
The only thing I've got left now is my conscience. Me, Blake, and my conscience. Mr. McPherson, did you know that in Tarot, the hangman is not put to death, but confronted by his destiny instead? Arriving at his journey's end, he is able to see his life again from a new angle. Sometimes, a man thinks of certain events again and discovers that he was tricked, betrayed. McPherson! Help me, Gustav! Don't let him! He's insane! This painful blow, this moment when our convictions, our beliefs, our passions are shattered. When you discover your life has been nothing but lies, trickery. McPherson! Help me down! He'll kill me! He'll kill you! Like he killed all the others! He killed them all! That Kofner, he killed them! Charged! All guilty of having tricked me, betrayed me, stolen from me! Just as you did Blake! And just as she tricked and betrayed you too, Mr. Macpherson! The Baphomet is mine! It has been mine for centuries. It is my immortality. Give me back the head, Macpherson, or she will be sentenced before the tribunal of God. You've lost your mind, Kaufner. You've been exposed. You are the killer. You are a monster. I am the sole judge of my actions. But this object has no power, Kofner. Not this object, not any object. There's never been any such magic. Trying to prove the contrary has made you lose your mind. Ah! Become my successor, Macpherson. I will initiate you into the power of Baphomet. I have no desire to succeed you, Dr. Kofner. What do you have to offer? This head? This Baphomet? I do not want it. It is yours. Take your treasure back. Right. You have the head now. Let her go. Blundering idiot! Did you really think I would let you leave with my secret? Yes, I owe you one. Never mind that. If it was not for you, I would still be rotting away in jail. Come on, I'll buy you a drink at the Alambe. Uh, it's not like me to turn down such an offer. And there's that cute girl that works there. Be careful. People are not always what they seem. Hey! Don't forget me! No. You'll get my bill within the next few days. And the police should be turning up any moment. Was Goffner right? Was he really the right path? What difference would it make? He's dead now. He might have been immortal. He's not any longer. What some people will do for Bell. Yes, there are people who would do anything for power and money, but not us.
Mr. McPherson, did you know that in Taro, the hangman is not put to death, but confronted by his destiny instead? Arriving at his journey's end, he is able to see his life again from a new angle. Sometimes, a man thinks of certain events again and discovers that he was tricked, betrayed. McPherson! Help me, Gustav! Don't let him! He's insane! This painful blow, this moment when our convictions, our beliefs, our passions are shattered. When you discover your life has been nothing but lies, trickery. McPherson, help me down! He'll kill me! He'll kill you! Like he killed all the others! He killed them all! That Kaufner, he killed them! Judged! All guilty of having tricked me, betrayed me, stolen from me! Just as you did Blake! And just as she tricked and betrayed you too, Mr. McPherson, the Baphomet is mine! It has been mine for centuries! It is my immortality! Give me back the head, McPherson, or she will be sentenced before the tribunal of God! You've lost your mind, Kaufner. You've been exposed. You are the killer. You are a monster. I am the sole judge of my actions. But this object has no power, Kaufner. Not this object, not any object. There's never been any such magic. Trying to prove the contrary has made you lose your mind. Ah! Become my successor, Macpherson. I will initiate you into the power of Baphomet. I have no desire to succeed you, Dr. Kaufner. What do you have to offer? This head? This Baphomet? I do not want it. It is yours. Take your treasure back. Did you really think I would let you leave with my secret? Did you really think he would save you? You were wrong. This is Elouin. Oh, Jean Dambovet. I did not expect to see you here. I do not know how to tell you this, but uh, I have news about your son. What's wrong? I can tell that you have news for me, and that it's not good. Indeed. I would rather tell you in person before the newspapers get hold of it. The execution will take place the day after tomorrow. Mr. McPherson, did you know that in Tarot, the hangman is not put to death, but confronted by his destiny instead? Arriving at his journey's end, he is able to see his life again from a new angle. Sometimes, a man thinks of certain events again and discovers that he was tricked, betrayed. McPherson! Help me, Gustav! Don't let him! He's insane! This painful blow, this moment when our convictions, our beliefs, our passions are shattered. When you discover your life has been nothing but lies, trickery. McPherson, help me down! He'll kill me! He'll kill you! Like he killed all the others! He killed them all! That Kaufner, he killed them! Judged! All guilty of having tricked me, betrayed me, stolen from me! Just as you did Blake! And just as she tricked and betrayed you too, Mr. McPherson, the Baphomet is mine! 
It has been mine for centuries. It is my immortality. Give me back the head, Macpherson, or she will be sentenced before the tribunal of God. De Alpe, you turned to crime, whereas you had the opportunity to live in peace forever. Their death is fair payment for their treachery. Haven't you understood that nothing in all this can wipe out your suffering, your grief, your Adeline? The memory of Adeline lives on stronger than ever. Her memory. Everything that is left of her memory is in my hands. This vulgar idol, this link with your past, your soul treasured, the Alpe. This is how you will perish, by its destruction. You'll get my bill within the next few days, and the police should be turning up any moment. What happened to Covenant? What do you think? The cops carted him off, and he's rotting in jail now. What some people will do for power. Some people would do anything for power and money, but not us. 